Good morning, Marist. Today is Friday, February 17th. I'm Nick Frias. And I'm M. Jennings. Today we pray for a strong finish to the term. Offering our prayer this morning is freshman Corinna Joyner. Our spiritual lives are like an anchor because it keeps us from drifting away from the Word of God during difficult times. When we have a deep friendship with God, we understand that God is our captain. The captain on an actual ship helps and supports its crew. God does the same thing with us. He empowers us to love others as He loves them. When God is truly the captain in our lives, we live a life of service. When life is hard and we can't see the future, we hold on to the anchor of hope in you. When everyone around us laughs at our beliefs, we hold on to the anchor of hope in you. When everything we touch seems to end in disaster, we hold on to the anchor of hope in you. When we're suffering illness, tiredness, or stress, we hold on to the anchor of hope in you. When tears fill our lives and our hearts are grieving, we hold on to the anchor of hope in you. Amen. Mary, seed of wisdom, pray for us. Thanks, Corinna. So, Em, did you get an email from Mr. Friel about your service hours? Yes, Nick. We all did. Okay. Well, I and all the other seniors who didn't attend the mission trip this summer have to find some way to get 12 hours of service done before May 1st, and everyone else has until May 15th to do their required hours. Have you thought about doing a habitat build? It's a great way to get a chunk of your service done, and it's an amazing experience. That sounds fun, but isn't it just a women's build? No. The women's build is just one of the many builds they have. But let's learn some more on what really happens at the builds. Thanks, Habitat. What a great way to complete your required service hours. I'll say, and it's an amazing way to give back. Speaking of amazing, I hope everyone had a great Valentine's Day this past Tuesday. I know I did. That makes two of us. How did you spend that last Valentine's Day? Well, aside from chowing down on one of those great bacon roses from the cafeteria, I went to Pond City Market with someone special. That's awesome. Was it fun? Yeah, it's a pretty cool place. Is this relevant? Actually, it is. Lily Stewart put together a wonderful video to tell us more about Ponce. Take it away, Lily. 
Almost everyone has heard about the new, cool, renovated Sears Roebuck and Company building, aka Ponce Market. There's so much to do at this unique hub for dining and retail, so let's get into it. In Pond City Market, the place where most of the re restaurants are located is called the Food Hall. It is a long, wide hallway with yummy restaurants that line the sides. Some of the more popular spots are H&F Burger, Pops Chicken, and El Super Fun. Others include Farm to Ladle, Collier Candy Company, and St. Germain Bakery. Don't forget King of Pops! Tons of stores surround the food hall. Whether that be outside of it or above it, retail is everywhere. Clothing stores such as Madewell, Marine Layer, Fry, Ponce Denim Company, and Elkhead sell unique clothing items. And other stores such as Archer Paper Goods, a stationery store, Lily Rain, Alex and Annie, Postman Books, and Gore and Bros, a hat store, sell accessories and other goods. One store, called Citizen Supply, which is located on the third floor of the market, sells a variety of items such as furniture, retro prints, and mugs that are all made locally here in Atlanta. Pond City Market offers unique shopping experiences that captures the retro vibe of Midtown Atlanta perfectly. Whether that be through its unique colors, vintage floors and architecture, or the warm environment. Head down to Pont City Market soon and explore it for yourself. I'll make sure to check out some of those stores next time I'm down there. And I'll make sure to actually check it out sometime. I haven't had a lot of free time recently. Why? Spending too much time binge watching Bones on Netflix? Yeah. But the weather has been acting really weird lately, so I've been reluctant to go outside. Sure. Let's go to Brendan Bleak Road to hear what about this weird weather. Thanks, Insert Anchors here. Looks like the five-day forecast for the state of Georgia shows temperatures ranging somewhere between 0 and 100 degrees Fahrenheit, with 1,000% chance of rain. As you can see, there seems to be a hurricane coming in like north along the coast of Florida, and heading up to Savannah with winds reaching 500 miles an hour. On the northwest end of Georgia, uh, we see snow piling about 5 yards high. In the southwest end of Georgia, there are temperatures reaching 100 degrees and wind speeds reaching negative 10 miles per hour. Stay indoors, but not the corner. It's 90 degrees there. And that's the weatherman tip of the week. Back to you in the studio. Thanks, guys. I'm sure glad to know that the weather is going to be normal for once. Guess that means I have no reason to stay inside and be inactive. Speaking of being active, what's going on with Maris Sports? Well, our sports reporters could not be here with us today, but here's what has been happening in athletics recently. The basketball teams have both played well this season, and both teams begin their runs for state this weekend. The girls will play at LaGrange tonight at 7, and the boys will be playing Cartersville here at home on Saturday. Tip-off for the boys game is set for 5 o'clock, but both teams need your support. If you do come to the game Saturday, join the Centennial Savages in their beach theme as they attempt to get loud enough to cause an earthquake in the gym. As for what's been happening on the mats, the wrestling team finished the season 7th in the state, with Reed Bethune and Andrew Pace finishing in 3rd place, Matt Blan Max Blanchard in 4th, and Gray Bethune in 7th. Congrats on a great season, guys! As winter sports come to an end, spring sports are just getting started. In fact, boys soccer plays tonight at 7.30 in the stadium, and the baseball team plays Mill Creek at home tomorrow at 3. And at the same time tomorrow, the boys lacrosse team plays Westminster in the stadium. If you really want to be creative, you can stand at the top of the stands and watch both lacrosse and baseball games at once. It's an interesting idea. Well, now it's time for us oh, to... Oh, Fris, Fris, I just remember something. What? We have a long weekend. We get an extra day. So I guess that means we have some extra birthdays, too. Yeah. Happy birthday today to Will Bowers, Emily Hardigan, and Harrison Sewell. Tomorrow to Connor Frondorf and Miss Herrera. On Sunday to Mr. Buckner, Abby Fenn, and Kai O'Brien. And a very happy birthday on Monday to our very own NBC moderator, Dr. Bassine, 
as well as Zoe Alvarez, Catherine Andres, Mr. Baginski, Miss Murphy, and Mr. Schmidt. Well, that's all for us today, folks. Have a great long weekend. For NBC, I'm Nick Frias. And I'm M. Jennings. See you in the halls, Marist. <laughs>